irrevocable trust is essentially a company or a member of your family. And just like any company, it has its board of directors and it has its owners. And an irrevocable trust has three key parties. Uh, we have our grantor, who is the person who is transferring assets into the trust. We have our trustees who are managing those assets for the benefit of the owners who are the beneficiaries of the trust. There's a common misconception that a trust is something that people create to hide things. It's absolutely, there's absolutely nothing secretive about a trust. It's its own entity, it's its own person. You, when you create a trust, you're essentially gifting your assets to somebody else for the benefit of one of your family members or a friend or a companion, whether that be your spouse or your children or a church or a synagogue. And that ensures, again, coming back to the prenuptial agreement example, that in the event of a divorce, the assets that were transferred to this trust pre-marriage are not subject to marital property distribution and are not subject to marital division. And that's one of these fears that we eliminate from people that keep people up at night.